Hi, I'm Lynn. I'm Stuart. We're High Five Pig. Yes, we are. <laughs> Still. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we've had quite a busy week, haven't we? We have, yes. It's, it's been, been hectic. Really hectic with lots and lots of news. So there's a lot of news coming up. Um, we've got, in fact, two news stories from Sennheiser coming up. They're really interesting. They're really interesting, both of them. We've got stuff from Tannoy. We've got Dali. We've got NAD. Um, Tangent. Yes. Audio Vector. Um, some cable news, we've got Melodica and we've got Network Acoustics. We have. Um, and Goldman. Yes, we have. We the have. Goldman's just really interesting. However, before we go any further, we've had a letter. Oh, God. <laughs> from uh, Mrs. Licorice from Wet Wang in oh. the East Riding of Yorkshire. <laughs> uh, she asks why we're still doing these videos when Stuart's got such an obvious face for radio. I was first offended by this uh, letter from Mrs. Licorice of Wet Wang in East <laughs> Yorkshire. Um, but basically, we're doing the videos because we like doing the videos and we think you might like them too. So Hopefully. that's it. So, Mrs. Licorice of Wet Wang in East Yorkshire, <laughs> if you'd like to uh, continue your correspondence, then feel free to. But uh, that's the reason we're still doing the videos. Firstly, I'm a little bit worried that you're conversing with a lady called Mrs. Licorice. Well... <laughs> She Should said I be I could, worried? Well, yeah, she said I could have a dab of her... Uh, <laughs> sherbet. <laughs> sherbet dib dab, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> so as well as the uh, letter from Mrs Licorice of Wet Wang in the East Riding of Yorkshire, we also did some reviews this week. We did. Uh, and they were both very interesting, actually. The 432 Evo Master that uh, I reviewed was a really, really interesting product. If you don't know anything about 432 tuning, um, it tells you all about it in the review. But basically, it's slightly alternative tuning to traditional tuning for orchestras and what have you. And basically, what this machine does, the 432 Evo Master, it retunes the signal, the bit perfect signal, to 432 tuning. And it does change the sound a little bit. So it's 432 hertz, yeah? Yeah. It's really interesting, but it took my brain a little bit to actually get what it was doing and really get into it. But once you get into it, I got into it uh, and I understood it. And I will understand why people don't get it, but if you don't get it, you can always turn that off on the machine anyway, which I thought was really uh, interesting. It's, it's quite interesting that saying that it took you a while to get it because quite often that is a thing with hi-fi. It's like the first time you listen to a big horn system, you'll sit down in front of it and you'll listen and you might not get it at first. You've got to give your brain sort of chance to adjust to what's going on. Exactly that. I remember the first time I heard the avant-garde duos at Jeffrey's in uh, Monaco. Yes. Sound galleries. Sound galleries. Uh, we're going back years and years and years before Hi Fi Pig was a thing, I think. Yeah. And the rep from Avant Garde said, and I remember his exact words, he said, Now we will listen to what one what sounds like. And I was the only person in the auditorium. And the music started playing, and it took my brain five ten seconds to click but then i came home and went gotta have a pair, we could have a pair of them yeah I, I came home and a few years later we did and a few years later <laughs> we did i also reviewed and this was uh, a very interesting product and we've reviewed a lot of um class d amplifiers that use the hypex modules and the hypex modules in my opinion are the best modules and you would think that there would all be the much, same. much of a muchness but they're not and I, th I think i don't know i think that's down to the buffers that are, are used in there and the power supplies that are used in there and to my ears the vera audio class d amplifier it's a power amplifier and it's about two and a half three grand i think off the top of my head that so far has been the best 
plus the amplifier that we've had in the system. And I've been a long time, well, we've been yeah. a long time champions of uh, Class D technology. And we've had uh, Merrill Thor amps in the upstairs system for well, years, years and years yeah. and years. But the Vera Audio Class D from Norway, in my opinion, is actually better than the Thors. Not perfect. And I do prefer, obviously, the Class A B Electro Companion amplifier that we've got in the system but for three grand i think it's very very good yeah the other news is ah ascot ascot coming up in fact ascot has actually started today but today is just a trade and press day yes, it is. so eric's currently there and he's snoofling around and listening to everything how and... did he get on getting there did he have any trouble getting there <laughs> I think I think Eric might have had a little bit of transport crisis, I think, but all was well. Very good. So he's there, is he? <laughs> he is there. That's yes. good to hear. We got there last night, yeah, so right, yeah. Cool. I have uh, seen photographs yeah, of him there. Yeah, so we know he's there. Jeff at Tulluri and Q sent me a picture saying that he'd spotted... Um, some tall Dutch guy. <laughs> some tall Dutch guy. Uh, if you don't know Eric, uh, he's our guy that covers... Benelux and Germany. Yes. Uh, really interesting guy, really knows his stuff. He, he runs avant garde as well. He does. But he runs them active and all Oh, he's done all sorts all of All kinds yeah. of yeah. clever stuff. And he's also really into TBR cars. I don't know if you knew that. He is. Yeah. Very much so. But yeah, he's currently at Ascot for us, and that is that just looks like it's going to be a wonderful show. Yeah. It is. Um, so we couldn't make it over because it's too close to us going away next weekend, which we'll tell you about more. Yeah, I Later. think Paul but, Miller that runs the show, he does. Uh, he runs Hi-Fi News and Record Review, which is the magazine I read as a kid, actually. Mm -hmm. And I almost won a prize in uh, the competition <laughs> there, but we'll not go into that because um, I didn't win. Uh, but that was to win a NAD amplifier, or it might have been a Marantz amplifier, a dual turntable and a pair of speakers. And I've got thoughts on all that down the line, but we'll go into that in a different video. Uh, but, yeah, I think Paul Miller has done a fantastic job of putting that show together. It yeah. was uh, cancelled because of the Queen's death. Very last minute. Last Very year. last minute. People had flown in from all over the world. We were flying in as um, well. Yeah, yeah, we were flying in, yeah. So, um, and that was going to be the first one after COVID. Yeah. Um, so this is actually the first one after COVID. But you've got you've got distributors there, brands there. You've got people like Absolute Sounds who bring all the Wilson and the Magico and the D'Agostino and everything. You've got SC Via there. They're bringing Triangle. They're bringing all the head fire stuff like Meze and what have you. Um, you've got Cord Electronics there. You've got PMC there. It looks brilliant. It's I've seen some of the photographs and of little videos that people take. And it does look really, really good. The venue, I have to say, I don't know if I will be able to go because it's very hot. There are bits of it that are high up. Also there, uh, and David from Stratton sent me um, a picture of their room all set up with uh, Technics amps, Technics turntables. I think we've got two different systems. Yeah, they've got Inuos in there. They've got Tellurium Q, yeah. all the cables. It should be a really nice sounding system with that the big Ellipsis speakers that they've yeah, got so there. That was, so that uh, was... Very yeah, interesting. So we'll be looking forward to reading what Eric thinks of the event. So that's Absolutely. on tomorrow and Sunday. It's open to the public. Um, I think it's twenty pound for a day ticket. Um, but well worth your money. It's easy to get to. Um, I think the train station's nearby and it's easy to drive to. Cool. So it should be a really, really fantastic event. Shall so, we do the news now? Yes, let's do the news. Here's the news. Dali, the Danish hi-fi brand, has launched the Dali Epicore 11 loudspeakers. These four and a half way floor standards feature four 8 inch bass drivers and a six and a half inch mid range. They have the Evo K hybrid tweeter module, comprising a 35 mm soft dome tweeter and an ultra thin ribbon tweeter element developed for the flagship Dali Core. Appearing at the UK Hi-Fi show live this weekend, they cost 60,000 US dollars or 39,998 pounds or euros. The new Goldman Melos loudspeakers are the latest passive model from the luxury Swiss Hi-Fi brand. They are a compact bookshelf design. Goldman tell us that an active version of Melos is also on the way along with matching speaker stands. 
The Goldman Melos passive loudspeakers feature a soft dome tweeter and a 7-inch woofer. Base is vent loaded. The compact speakers weigh in at a heavy 20 kilos each. They are priced at 24,000 Swiss francs, 26,500 pounds or 29,000 euros. Launching at the UK Hi-Fi Show Live is the compact Key 7 wireless music system. The Key 7 can be used as one speaker for independent use, a stereo pair arrangement, or as a multi-room speaker system, or even a 3D immersive media setup. It has also been designed to be used as a studio monitor. Available in early 2024, Key 7 costs €3,795, £3,495 pounds, or $3,895 for the single speaker, or €7,590, £6,990, or $7,790 for the stereo pair. The new Melodica MDU-CB Purple Rain USB cable has been designed for accurate data transfer while shielding against electrical noise and electromagnetic interference. Available in lengths from 0.3 to 7 metres, the cable costs from €45. Euros. Meze Audio has launched the Meze 109 Pro Primal, a special edition of its 109 Pro headphone and the latest addition to the exclusive Meze Audio Art Gallery collection. These new headphones also enforce Meze Audio's commitment to sustainability. They are designed to be taken apart and serviced endlessly if ever needed with handcrafted walnut ear cups and 50mm size transducers they're available to order at $999 or euros or £899 NAD Vintage Listening Sessions are a series of global retail events inviting fans to experience the rich history of hi-fi with vintage product showcases and demos including the C3050 stereo amplifier Sessions will be announced soon with events running up until early 2024. Hand built in the UK, the Network Acoustics Muon 2 USB cable is designed to protect digital signals from the damaging effects of electrical noise in the form of RFI and EMI. While Network Acoustics says that the Muon 2 USB cable represents a substantial upgrade over the original, they've kept the price the same at £1,395 in the UK for their standard recommended length of 1.5 metres. Sennheiser's Audiophile headphones have been manufactured in the company's own factory in Tullamore, Ireland for over 30 years, making it the core of Sennheiser's Audiophile headphones innovation. The brand is now opening its doors to its inner sanctum for the first time, offering guided tours through the facility. HeadFi fans will have the chance to win trips to the centre through social media competitions over the coming months. The new Sennheiser Accentum wireless headphones feature hybrid active noise cancelling technology at an accessible price point. They feature 37mm dynamic transducers and the acoustics have been optimised for a broad ANC performance. The headphones combine Bluetooth 5.2 and multipoint connectivity and support the aptx hd aac and sbc codecs available in black and white they will be priced at 159.99 pounds or 179.90 euros danish hi-fi brand audio vector has chosen speciality sound and vision to represent their brand in the usa ssv headed up by anthony chirella is charged with growing sales brand awareness and market presence for Audio Vector and assumes his duties immediately. Tangent Denmark has announced two new products in its electronics range, the Tangent DAC2 and Tangent Amster TV2. Tangent DAC2 has a Sabre ES923 24-bit stereo audio DAC chip at its heart. It has multiple digital inputs of coaxial, optical and USB and features the latest aptx Bluetooth technology. It costs £249.99. The Tangent Amster TV2 
has Bluetooth 5.0 HD connection and a HDMI input. It features amplification of 2 times 50 watts and an integrated subwoofer output. It costs £199.99. Tannoy has introduced the new Tannoy Super Gold monitor speakers, a range that builds on the classic professional monitor gold. The range features three models of passive dual concentric driver speakers, and they're designed with front firing base ports for easy placement against walls or in corners. They cost from £5,995 a pair for the SGM 10 inch to £8,495 for the SGM 15. Yamaha says that the HA-L7A is the first true audiophile headphone amplifier that it's made and the perfect companion for the flagship YH5000SE headphones. It features a patented floating and balanced power amplifier, 32-bit DAC and Cinema DSP sound field creation technology. The HA-L7A will be available in late 2023 for US dollars So that was the news. That was the news that was. It was. So some interesting stuff. I was interested in the Sennheiser, two bits of news from them, the Sennheiser experience actually in Tullamore in Ireland. I always assumed that they were made, made in, in Scandinavia G- yeah, or, or Germany, Germany or somewhere. Or, yeah, but they are the the audiophile headphones are made in Ireland. Mm-hmm. So they're opening the place up, they're doing tours and what have you. And I think at some point early next year, we're going to be sending Oscar over for a, yeah. a snoofle about and see what it's all about. So that would be cool. Yeah. And then, of course, they also released their new ANC headphones, which the Accentum, and they're about 150 quid. Yeah, we covered them in the... Um... Every day we've started doing this thing. We started on Monday where we do a daily news pick and we just do a little quick video. Uh, we're not in it, uh, Mrs. Licorice. You'll be pleased to know. <laughs> um, and it's a couple of minutes long. It's just about the news that we found most in- interesting that day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's picking up. It's, yeah. We're just doing it for a bit of a laugh, really. But there you go. Uh, but they looked interesting, very cheap, ANC headphones. I've just got some, well, we've just got some JBL headphones for uh, flying and what have you. I'm not a great uh, lover of headphones, but I think they're really important on long flights. So yes. we've got some. The news that I found particularly interesting was the Tannoys, and they're doing Super Golds. Yes. And uh, if you know, Hi fi, you know, you'll know Tannoy. Uh, the Super Golds have been around for a long time, uh, longer than you, possibly. <laughs> um, and they're really they're not reinventing the wheel or anything, I don't think. Tannoy, but there's a new set of speakers out, thought they were quite interesting. Yeah, they'll be popular, I imagine. Not hugely expensive, I don't no, think. No, not ridiculously expensive. It's been, we've had quite a lot of news that's been sort of very excessively priced stuff, and then mm. we've had super expensive stuff. So on the accessibly priced side of things, the stuff from Tangent of Denmark. They looked interesting. The little DAC and the amp. Yeah. So I think 250 quid for the DAC, 200 quid for the amp. So really interesting we've got some of them come in i think um, we're going to see a lot you. more of that kind of stuff um i'm speaking to someone else after we've made these videos that's got a r12 not mrs licorice then it's not mrs, <laughs> mrs. licorice no um that's monday afternoons ah, okay um that was a cat coming in as yeah. well <laughs> about to speak to a company that based in the uk and they're doing a, i think it's about 550 quid r2r dac uh, so looking forward to speaking to them about that. But I think we're going to see a lot more kit that is at that 250 quid, 500 quid mark. Mm. But that is actually really well made. It doesn't look no, it cheap. Doesn't, no, you're not no. talking about cheap gear. You're talking about excessively priced or affordable gear that's well made and solid and is giving people what they want. And it's backed 
earlier on I mentioned about nearly winning a competition in Hi-Fi News and Record Review, and I did. And at that time, there was the dual turntable, the Nado Morant amp, and then either Kef or Wharfdale Diamond Speakers. And everybody that I knew at that time really wanted that setup. And having things like the Tangent, and there's lots of other brands as well out there for people that want really good quality, don't want soundbar, don't want a Sonos or something like that. They want proper hi-fi. I think it's a really important move. Yeah, definitely. And then at the other end of the scale, there was both the the Dali speakers, which you're looking at around 40 grand, I think, in uh, English money, and the um, Goldman little passive monitors about 29 grand uh, euros i think the 29 i think about 26 and a half thousand pounds um so yeah it's a lot of money for a stand mount isn't it it is and that's not with the stands All right. the stands are still to come and there's going to be active ones as well but yeah. I, we'll get to listen to those next week yeah then. i think we will yeah uh, robert will have them he's the benelux goldman oh, so we will distributor so I'm, i think he's bringing them cool. um oh, the, the, they are expensive, but Goldman, they don't do it's cheap It's reassuringly kit. expensive. They don't do cheap kits. So uh, when I said they're expensive for stand mounts, well... For a start, the Swiss. The, <laughs> the Goldman, what do you expect? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to expect them to be uh, expensive. Another speaker that is launched, I think it was launched earlier on today, actually, is the Key 7. Yes. That... If you don't know Key, they do speakers that are active yeah, and they have a stack of the, the ones that I've heard, they have a stack of them. They've got bass drivers and then sort of a, a unit that sits on top. I think that's top. the Key 3 BTX or no something idea. like that. But they're always absolutely incredible. Yeah. DSP. You can plonk them in a little room anywhere and the bass will play nicely yeah. and yeah really nice so looking. the key sevens are sort of uh they're a bit smaller than the three okay and they're also cheaper than the three how much so are they about seven grand they i think for a pair they're about seven and a half or so right, okay but if they're active as well aren't they yes with dsp on board yeah they've got all the stuff going on okay so i think at that kind of price they will fly out. Yeah. A lot of people will buy those. They're kind of a lifestyle speaker that doesn't look like a lifestyle speaker necessarily. They sort of really look like they mean business. And they've been made to sit, well, you've just heard in the news, but they've been made to sit in sitting rooms, studios, as part of the surround system, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Uh, the Meze, Meze headphones... They looked interesting. Yeah, I think what they're doing is something that um, a lot of headphone brands in particular are going towards, whereby they're looking at the sustainability and they're making headphones that you can actually repair because headphones are one of those things like, oh, the wire's broken, that's it, they're gone, throw them in the bin type thing. Gotcha. But these can be apparently endlessly taken apart and rewired and drivers changed and whatever needs doing to them if they need anything doing to them. That's good to hear because yeah. I use headphones. I said I don't particularly like headphones, but I use headphones every day for DJing and mixing and what have you. And they do get some abuse. Uh, and having ones and the ones I've got, uh, I think they're Sennheisers actually, yeah. you can fit, they can be fixed as well. Yeah. But Meze, I, I think this is a good move on their part. Yes. Uh, the other good news is that Audio Vector are now properly represented in America. Yes. So by SSV, which is Anthony Chirella's company. Oh, he's and a very nice guy. He's a lovely guy. Lives in New York. Yeah. Um, he also looks after Griffin and yeah. Brinkman, I believe, he's in America. He's into his watches as well. So. Yeah, and he's a lovely chap. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I think before, Audio Vector wasn't particularly represented in um, the States. Um, I know when I posted the news, quite a few people commenting saying that's really good news because you couldn't necessarily find a local dealer who would have Audio Vector. 
and obviously people want to go and listen to them. So that's really yeah, good news. It's cool yeah. news. Uh, we use Audio Vector R6 Arettes in the uh, reference system, and we've got a pair of R3s and blah blah blah, and they are very good speakers. So yeah. it's good to see uh, the brand over in America and. Yeah. Anthony will do a really good job. Yeah, he will. I expect to see him at some shows and what yeah. have you coming up. So okay. that's good news. Yeah. So I think that's about it. I think it is. Thank you ever so much for was- watch it, watching. watching. Uh, Next week, we will be bringing the news from Holland. We will. Well, the Netherlands. The Netherlands, yes. yeah. We We're will. at the uh, Dutch audio event. In Eindhoven. In Eindhoven. Lynn's mentioned this in one of the news that we did a couple of weeks ago. But you can fly over there for from the UK for not a lot of money. Yeah, it's nice and simple to get to. Yeah. It's a great show, really enthusiastic, yeah. um, really well organised. So we're going to be over there. At the same time, Jula is going to be in Singapore. Yeah. A new show in Singapore that's the High End Asia. It's not High End, High End Society. It's no, no. different. Um, so that's happening as well. And Oscar's popping to Daventry to check yes, out the is. show there. Yes, so he is. Okay. We're all over the place. Next weekend is a massive weekend all around the world for hi fi shows. I mean, we're at three different ones, but there is loads of others going off as well it's We've crazy crazy season yeah it is, it's crazy season <laughs> uh so that was it yeah we'll see you next week when we're in holland yes we will the netherlands the netherlands bye, bye.